Hello everyone, this is Zelks here, and presenting to you my day one deck for Resurgent Legends. This is Neutral Last Word Shadowcraft, with the main win condition being Dark Alley's Foul Fairy Tail. This is a 7 mana 3 3, but you're never gonna play it for the 7 mana body. Always ask for the Trickstalized body, which is an amulet that summons itself once 3 countdowns are over, which you can accelerate by playing neutral cards. So that means Follower or Amulets both works. His main body is quite unimpressive. It's a rush that when it comes that can be evolved using evolution points. When this card comes into play, if at least 10 allied cards have last words when they will destroy this match, this card evolves for free. Take note of this. This is really important. Also, it has last words that puts a copy of itself back into your hand. So you know what? Just don't leave this deck uh, this card out on the field for it to be silenced or for it to be transformed. Always make sure it's either in its amulet form or it's in your hand. Now, the meat of this card comes from its evolved variant, which has Storm, with last words that summons a crystallized version of himself, of herself, I should say. And subtract one for its countdown, not too important, but very useful to have. So basically what happens is that you want to get 10 allied cards with last words that leave play, then Dark Alleys will come into play, evolve, have Storm, go face for 5 damage, then you can destroy her to summon her crystallized version. Then you destroy the crystallized version with your other cards like Instinct Death, which is your main way of destroying your crystal the crystallized Dark Alleys to go face for even more damage. So this is my list, as you can tell. Compared to the trial version, I have cut quite a number of cards like the other two mana, one two with last words, and replace it with Angel of Darkness because I feel like I need more bot presence. Having Rush is really useful. Why not Mikael? Well, this card has a tag which I could probably use to respond to Hugh Haven or Buff Dragon. Just, just as just being there is more. T I think in my opinion, it's more useful than Mikael, even though Mikael is quite str much stronger. Then other key cards in this deck that you must pay attention to is probably let's see, Instinct Death, which. It's one of the only cards in the deck that can pop your amulet. Then Poison Apple Revival is really strong once Dark Alice has effect is active when she can evolve for free. Then, then there's also Case Crack, a super underrated card that I doubt anyone is running right now. This card has won me so many games in mirror matchups where they straight up have a ward up and did not expect the Case Crack, case crack which completely says screw you to their wards. Some cards you might want to keep consider keeping your mulligan is Evil Assumer. This card tutors a random neutral follower out of your deck, which preferably is Angel of War. But if you get Angel of Darkness, it's not ho too horrible since Ruler of Necropolis will give her last works. And Angel of Darkness can also get last works from Poison Apple or Revival. Lastly, what you really need to look for, really, really need to look for, is Dark Ellis. If you don't find Dark Ellis, your game plan is out of the window. Anyways, just as a Joker card, I decided to add in two copies of Phantom of the Strings. He's a, she's a free evolve and she also is targeted removal for Shadowcraft, which honestly, Shadowcraft doesn't have too many targeted removals, so if you find a very interesting card that you can steal with Phantom of the Strings, go ahead, go ham. Anyways, here's the QR code. Deck list will also be in the description down below. If you're new to the channel and you are interested in more Shadowverse content, remember to leave a like. Leave a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the gameplay. You know, I've been actually re recorded a lot of games because some of them are very boring and <laughs> my opponents literally does nothing for long periods of time because they feel like they couldn't win a game, which you know what, I I understand not winning but at least can you play on? Like, make my videos entertaining. So we are... I think we are up into a mirror match. In this case, I would really love to have Case Crack. It is one of my secret tech cards that I add to the deck that is actually saved me in a lot of situations. Also, we have to look for, you know, our, our guys, Dark Alleys. If we don't find them, we lose. If we do find them, we won't lose. You know, the usual. You know it. We know it. There's no point trading into this, so I'm just gonna go face. If he wants to trade, he can trade it to me instead. If not, I'm just gonna send it face. 
it's more one ping after all and we are going first so I would, I would like to prefer to be more aggressive now the Valkyria, Valkyria's Lance is one of those cards that's included in in this set personally I think it's a it's a good card but it's pretty weak in this deck since well you know if you're gonna if you're gonna summon follow it, it feels like it's gonna break your hand way too often more often than not so I don't really and usually I put uh, Valkyria lands into my deck even though it is uh, basically a one mana draw one I mean if he somehow draws better than me I'll attribute it to this when I first played with Valkyria lands right I overdraw a lot with this deck so this is why I should swap to Angel of Darkness instead I'm definitely have I, I, I definitely have to kill this I have to kill this. That's that's not an option anymore. Oh, nice, too dark at least. Do I play two? Okay, I'm going to do it this way, and then I'll use this for more draw. Ruler of, Ruler of the Necropolis, really good card considering that what is in my pool is actually Angel of Darkness. So giving it last word is actually huge in this scenario. And we'll also pop uh pop Dark at least as well. Currently it's at 5, once it pops it will, it will go up to we are at 5 including Dark at least herself. Doing this will move us up to 7. He just passed the turn. Okay, I'm a little bit suspicious about what he's trying to plan. But since I don't have much better choice, I have uh, better choices, I don't have much other choice, I'm just going to play this and get two more last words into play. If he's planning to silence my cards, I do have another Dark at least just in case. So this is currently three, uh, three last words, this will push me up to seven. Uh, they played Goblin Reaper. Too slow. You could. There's better things you can do like this, which is, which helps you way, a lot more. I'll be honest than this, whatever this is. Like, really, this this is better. This this play my play is way better than this. Case crack. We have five. This pushes us to 6. Oh, actually, we only need honestly 4 more. 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to send this in phase. This time, I'm going to play Corpse Crusher for free. This has last words now. And instead of Angel of playing this for the for summoning 2, uh, I think I only need to summon 1. So right now it's at 7. I'm not going to play this uh, form of Angel so it doesn't pop naturally. I want to be able to choose when uh, Dark Eddies pop pops. That is the most key part of playing this deck. If you can choose, make it, preferably make it pop on turn. Don't give your opponent the choice of when it let, letting when it when of giving. Don't give your opponent the choice of popping your dark eddies. If they are choosing when to pop your dark eddies, right? You are pretty screwed. I'm not gonna lie. So as you can tell, this is at eight. If I let, I if I had let my opponent choose when to pop my dark eddies, this wouldn't this would this guy wouldn't be active. So this time, uh, I think let me take let me see how this will go. I will send this in first. Evolve, pop this. Now Dark Alice pops and will evolve because ten allied followers have left play. We'll go phase for five. Let me check if I have little. I don't have Lito, but there is something else I can do to ruin their day. Actually, do I have Lito? 5 damage. Uh, 
This is another five. I can't I can't actually I don't I don't think I have lethal, but I have I know a way to ruin their day. So play this. As I said, don't give your opponent the choice of when to pop your dark at least. Actually now that I, uh, I actually literally just got the lethal already, so you know what? I'll take I'll take my lethal where I can. Because if I didn't draw my instinct them, I would have placed place crack and I would have silenced his uh, dark at least. Which would have been horrible for him. He will not recover from it. And he won't recover from this anyways. You know. The usual. So, the thing about this deck, right? Is that you must find Dark Alice. Like, there's no space for discussion. If you don't find Dark Alice, if she somehow disappeared off to the bottom of your deck, good luck to you. There's nothing you can do. Bye. Um, have good luck in the next game, I guess. Because like, what could you do? That is literally isn't responding to you. Oh, hi, greetings. So, currently we have decent draw, I would say. We have Angel of Darkness, we have two full Grace. Two full Grace is extremely strong on turn 2 if you can get it out early. Um, I think I'd rather have Sukuyomi come back on turn 5. So, I'll play, I'll play Amaterasu right now. Honestly, I at this point in the game, I really don't know which one is better. Maybe, actually, maybe choosing Sukuyomi early is better. I honestly couldn't tell you. I'm gonna use uh, from the Dash Reborn here to actually accelerate my last words. That's a that's a thing you can do with a. Uh, with um from the Dutch Reborn, it's basically a one mana two two. And if your some of your last ones have super strong effects like this one, we we select it all all the time, man. Do it. It's worth it. Trust me. Unless what you're planning to do is probably like what, keep it in your hand, wait for something, I guess. Now this is a problem. I could trade into it and lose my. Well, I'm gonna lose it anyway. So who who cares, right? Uh, let me think. You know what? Let's do a fun play. I don't need the evolve point, so I'm gonna get the 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 dark version out as well. Hey, I have both of them active. Well, it's better if both of them are active on the same activates on the same turn, but this one activates on turn six, so go figure. But I'll get her back. We have we have space, we have time. We we can we got a little bit of time to work with. Then ruler of necropolis here will get us a lot of card draw. Actually, she accelerates our last words by two, and we will get a more card draw, which will be good. I'm not sure if they are, uh, if, uh, they probably pick, pick the burn version, which you know what I that would be what I'm expecting to pick. Here we go. Let me just check how much uh, I have. I have this one active, so I don't want to trade in, trade in with this yet. I believe. Okay, now we have both of them active once again. Mm, do I want to keep this on the field? Let me check. If both of them are active, right? You know what? Then I might as well just throw this in. And I'll draw more. Look, try to look for my dark Ellis. We are at 6, last was destroyed, so if I can find my Dark Alice, we'll be a good spot. If I'm not going to find my Dark Alice, we are screwed. Uh, the power of Amateratsu is that I currently, because of Ruler of Necropolis, I actually also draw from this as well, which is pretty good. Instinct Death, uh, whatever, not what I'm looking for, honestly. Is there, is there any good cards I can steal from them? I don't even know. Oh, this one's good. I like the sky. Do I want this? Sure, why not? 
Sure, like why not, man? This is a this is a decent card to have. I'll take it. Don't mind if I do. My hand is currently a little bit bricky. Angel of Darkness doesn't draw even though it's a rush for the but at least it helped me trade. Uh, who is who is active right now? Amateretsu. So if this dies, I will only get one Sukuyomi. I believe they are at 10 evolved, 10 names already. Yeah, they are at 10 names. If they are ginger, they should play it soon. If not, I'm going to be at, I'm going to be further ahead than they will ever be in their life. I feel like I want to steal Nick because it draws a card. Or I can steal this because it evolves for free. Whoa, scary. Really would be scary. How scary is it? Honestly, I don't know. They, they probably traded that in to prevent me from stealing it, which, okay, smart. If that's... There we go, there's Dark Alice. I could actually just clear all of this. I can straight up clear all of that. Which, you know what? I will. I will because I can. That's why Angel of Darkness is superior, superior compared to Mikael. Current turn is 8. Let me check how many last words. 9. So once this card pops, we are basically ready to go. And I have the exact card I needed to pop it. Angel of Darkness as well. Nothing is going to come into play. So it is whatever. What are the chances we are dead this turn? Mysteria doesn't have a lot of storm damage. So you know what? I feel like we're quite safe. This isn't exactly my specialty. Let me see if I have a chance of lethal. Instinct death one. Instinct Death 2 Doesn't look like I can get Leto so I'm going to hide this back into the into a crystallized form again so she can be interacted with and we'll go for Leto next turn uh, it'll be even called uh, Poison Apple of the Revival just in case What are the chances they kill me? They didn't play Ginger so I'm not sure what is their OTK plan or 16 damage plan You know what? If I do lose here, I'll leave it in. It could be a great learning experience for both you and me. It will probably what Mysteria can do on turn 7. Usually you would have wanted to play a Hama, a Mysterian President, I believe. That's what she's called because this it makes all of your spells able to deal 1 damage. She's healing now. Could be smart, could be smart. Actually, she's really smart. But unfortunately for him, I have case crack, which basically is no to, says no to wards. Green black as well. Anything else? Amaryllis. You know what? That's a little bit disappointing. I actually expected more. Oh, that was easy. Poison apple, your Alice. Really strong play. And then instinct death, destroy our own allies, get another one back, evolve it, go face for Lito. You know, that's why you should always get your instinct death. She's a really strong card with Dark Alice. What is the point of Phantom of the Strings in this in this deck? Honestly, I was saving it for either Haven or Sword matchups because they are really good. And then even if I didn't get into those matchups, it's still it still could be good as just a generic destroy one card and evolve it to possibly trade into two. It's not bad since uh, Shadow actually does lack, is a little bit lacking in follower destruction, especially big ones in the mid game. So, Fender of the String does have a place in this deck. You probably won't see its use of very often, but you know, when it does have its users, it's pretty good. 
Dark Eddies and Asvald, not I. Okay, could be worse, not ideal. So what I will oh Angel of War, yeah, that's what I wanted. That is what I wanted, Angel of War. That fits our turn three curve perfectly, especially if they play a follower. That I can trade this one in gold, which they did. So you know what? Last words draw a card. That's a, this card's actually pretty good. Do I summon this? I'm not gonna summon it. I rather I rather just eat pop on my turn than pop on the, pop before my turn. I'm 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 after all very scared of silence effects. And you always want to make sure Dark Alice is not out on the field. If he gets silenced, your SQ has gone. It's over for you. There's nothing more you can do. Go play another game. Instinct death, okay, fine, not horrible. We might need more draw though, which currently I'm lacking a lot of. This one gives Agile. Have they shuffled enough cards? I don't even know how many cards they shuffled. They didn't even shuffle enough. They should have shuffled more before they get Agile. That was definitely a misplay. Lazuli again, you know what? Good enough for me. I can get at least trade Dark Eddie Sin. That's good. That's good for me, not good for him though. And I'm also gonna just leave that guy there because there's really no point for me to do anything to it. Let me check how many last words I'm at. Six, seven, eight, nine. Wait. Six, seven, eight, nine. I'll play I'll play Fun of Angels. Then on on turn seven, all three of them will pop at the same time and Dark Alice will evolve. In fact the weakness of artifacts right now, right? I'll I'll tell you to you straight up, is that they actually need like followers on the field. So if you can ignore all their followers, well what can what can they do? Like literally what can they do? Nothing. That's it. That's all they can do. Right now I only need to take four damage. Let me just check if I'm if I'm safe. Laser tyranny, that's two. Nine. Let me check. Nine damage, eleven. I have three health to work with. Is that good enough? Honestly, I don't feel safe with 3 health, but I don't think I have a better option, is there? There actually is a better option. Uh, as always, what we are going to do is we are not going to leave them any followers to work with. Uh, not, we, are not, we, are, we are going to get rid of all of our followers, we are not going to leave them any followers to work with any followers to trade into. I'm going to evolve this first. I'm going to evolve this first so I, the, the guy actually gets banished. This one goes in, this one goes in, and then we'll play this. And Dark Alice will pop next turn with Angel of Darkness. And then following that, we'll add Poison Apple and then we'll play three instinct, 2 Instinct Deaths for Lethal. It's quite simple already. Could I have won by turn 6? Maybe, it's possible. I, I could have probably if I tried harder. But you know, that's, no, that's actually really no need. In fact, I feel like even playing Instinct Death first. Because this boy is actually quite wide. Yeah, that was the 2 damage I was afraid of. And there was the other 4. Okay, I, I made the right choice. Okay. Instinct there first. This goes here for 5, I'll play this on here. Corpse Crusher. Actually, let's destroy this first. Check to see if we have enough hand space. 
So what we do right now is actually we actually destroy this again. And then we'll play another instinct death, last but not least, just to pop all of them open once more for Leto. And that is how you OTK with last word neutral shadows. Perfect showcase. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, remember to leave a like, leave a subscribe, and thanks so much for watching.